What do you see, Sunan? Best not to draw attention here. Now, to hunt down the Peck Chief. Show me what lies ahead. There's the chief. Now to strike him down. Ah. 
Have you come to join me, fallen? You're on the wrong side of the giant's wall, friend. Have you come to make war in winter? <laughs> Fool! He might have talked! We got what we came for. Is that more Frankish wine? I'll take a few casks. And that silver there! Ulfur, that's Hafton's share. Eivor! Just in time to divide the spoils. Take some meat, if you like. The Picts are Magnus. This map spells it out. Ah, the wolf kissed is a reader. That's Dark Seder I'll never mess with. Worry about the Picts later. Now's the time for treasure and spoils. You earned it. It should be ours. We did the work. All of it. And nothing for half done. Warming his cock in a Saxon castle. Open that cask and we'll have a taste. We'll celebrate together. Sorry, friend, but that's Hafton's take. You understand. Don't make me say it twice. Crack the wine and drink with me. If you insist, we'll all drink some stinking wine. A little sour, but not bad. I've always preferred ale myself, or spiced mead. What I won't drink is one of Moira's herbal brews. She claims they're a tonic, but there's no telling what she hides in those drinks. Moira? I met her at the feast. She's a herbalist from the north, always skulking in the shadows of Hafton's throne. It's a big throne. Don't you all skulk around it from time to time? Why all these doubts, Eivor? You're a warrior, not a rumor monger. Doubt is too strong a word. But there is a feeling of mistrust among you. I want this alliance to be ironclad. Then let me change your mind. I've got a plan to win this war for good before the winter sets in. Magnus is a strong fort, but we'd be attacking from the south. With speed, we'll catch them off guard. With Halfton's blessing, I'd fight beside you anywhere. Name the time and place. No, Hafton is done fighting for the winter. He thinks it too great a risk. But I say we can win this war before the next snow. If we tell him of this plan, he'll refuse. But if we succeed, you and I together, he'll sing our praises all the louder. I'll fight with you, Faravid. But I will not lie to Hafton if he asks. If you tell him, he'll demand we forswear our attack. Are you willing to risk a victory like that? Our glory? If I tell him, he'll know what we intend. But we'll fight nonetheless, in spite of his anger. Fear is fear. I must return to Danacastra for a time. But I will join you for this battle. Deliver this goblet to my Jarl. He has a fondness for them, and tell him his share of the spoils is coming. When you're ready, find me near Jorvik at a place called the Walls. shrinks up each victory, like his cock, eh? Hafton will be waiting for his gift in Donacaster. Do not keep him waiting.
slow sips, Halfton. It helps the brew stay down. Drink the rest. Yes, yes. Thank you, Moira. That is all for now. The soothing herbs lift the fog from my mind for a time. How long has she been mixing these for you? You're stalling, Eivor. Tell me what you've learned, what news from the north. The Picts were beaten back. We took their lives and their treasures. Farovid asked me to deliver this. Is he taunting me? Farovid poisons the wine he gifts me. These goblets are a cruel joke. He is mocking me. We did capture some barrels of Frankish Black. He said they were for you, but I made him open a cask. We drank together. There was no poison. Speak without guise, Eivor. Does he plot against me, or no? Does he keep secrets? Give me something I can use! Now you must choose between treason and madness. Between the serpent's fang and the bite of a rabid wolf. Faravid asked for my silence. Hafton expects the truth. If I'm not careful, these lies will pile up, one upon the next. You have grown awfully silent, Wolfkist. Faravid has planned an attack on the Picts at Markness. Without you. That twin-faced, backstabbing glory eater! When? Tell me. I won't know until we meet again, at a place called the Walls. Good. Go to him. Watch, listen, unearth his lies. You will find them. If you fear poison, Lord, you must consider everything, even Moira's brew. Impossible! Moira has been with me for an age. She is no witch, she is kind. And... <sighs> Perhaps you can speak with her and find out for yourself. She stays within Donacaster, not far from here. If you learn something, find me north of Donacaster. One of my scouts there has troubling news. He'll be on top. We're going for a walk down to the temple. I should see Moira about this brew she's been feeding Afton. Letter came from Weaker. She must have gone there. I should go to Weaker. Find Moira. It's a small village. Moira's house must be near.
Come on out of there, you heathen lover! Away from my house, you ruffians! You can't hide forever! <laughs> Moira, we must go. Before they burn your cutters to cinders. I can't go out there. They'll steal me away and burn me at the stake. All right. I see two ways out of this, but neither is without risk. Do what you must, only hurry. I leave myself in your hands. I'm as good with words as I am with weapons. It will take some convincing, but I can talk my way out of this. Lead on, then. I shall follow. Go home, all of you. This woman is in my care now. Who died and made you sovereign of Northumbria now? I am the wolf kissed, killer of men, feeder of ravens. Stand back. I will wear your bones as ornaments. Jesus. E ease up now. We was only protecting our hamlet here. Tell Hafton he can have her. Um, leave this woman alone. Even look her way again, and it will be the last thing you see, Moira. It is safe to go. Be safe here. Thank you, Eivor. A thousand times I thank you. And if I asked you to drink your own brew? I would, gladly. And often do from time to time, to ensure it's not overly bitter before serving to Hafton. When you said there's no cure for what ails Hafton, you mean his touch in the head? I fear so. The same malady bedeviled my mother. The body breaks down and the mind falls apart over time. It's a terrible thing. I need your help, Moira. The brews you mix for Hafton, what goes into them? Oh, quite a diverse mixture. Let me see. Lavender, rosemary, meadow sweet, yarrow, soothing herbs, nothing uncommon. I should return to Hafton. He said he would be at the Temple of Flora. Tread lightly this topic with him, if you would tread it at all. Spread your wings, Sunan. Who is out there? Hafton, good to find you here. The raven feeder returns. Now keep quiet. I'm hunting a band of traitors lurking about this swamp. Who told you there are traitors here? My scout. He asked me to join him here, but he is nowhere to be found. Have a look around. Tell me if you see something. Eivor! Search the perches and lookouts here. You could be spying from above. Hold up! Speak to us! Where are you? Cast about this lad, my friend.
clinging to life. I should carry him down. I found your scout, but his wounds are grave. Olaf. Poor Olaf. He will be buried with honors. I will see to that. Walk the bridge, old friend. I will see you on the other side. The Anton may track his attackers. Get them, boy! Good boy! Follow their trail! the ground with their blood! Who are these men you suspect of treason? Thieves who stole my war spoils. <laughs> Looks abandoned. Are you sure some... The trail ends, but nobody's here. an entrance. It might be lurking below. <sighs> These pipes burst and flooded the tunnel. Even this old Roman work cannot withstand the icy kiss of winter's goddess. Look there. The pipes cut through that wall. You've done it. He must hurry. Hold on, we'll find a way through. The Romans were fine craftsmen. These chambers are vast and decorated, and laced with piping. Yet they went mad and vanished, just like their gods. Moira's books tell us so. Ah, here, you see? Spoils of war. Mine! Stolen from me! Ah! I 
am beset on all sides, Eivor. By plotters and schemers. What kings and jarls are not. Your territory is vast and wealthy. Every day, decisions I make change the lives of thousands. It is a burden few can bear. Yet I do. I do. You spoke with Moira. What did you learn? She means well. I don't believe she would poison you, not willingly. <clears throat> she also said she has seen your illness before, in her own family. Said it came on slow, but was incurable. No. No, this is not an illness. This is poison. Somehow someone is poisoning me. Shh. Listen. These will be the thieves who stole my tribute. and half done. Well met. Come, fill your bellies with mead. You stole this tribute. By rights, this is mine. It was meant for me. We stole nothing. Faravid gifted this to us for a hard day's battle. And did you take my scout Olaf in that battle? Your brother in arms? Did he too have to die for this tribute? That was... That was Olaf? Damned fool! We thought he was a thief! The only thieves here are the ones drinking my mead and spit-shining my silver! You! Cowards and traitors! We are owed this bounty, Jarl! For battles won and blood let! Eivor, you tell him! They only took their rightful share. You are traitorous worms. But Eivor seems to think you deserve pity. So I will give it this once. Return my spoils to Donacasta, and I will wipe this day from my memory. I can't do that. It is our share. We fought for it, killed for it, bled for it. If we don't get the glory, we deserve our share. The barking will stop. They forced my hand. Take hold of your fear, Hafton. It can poison your mind. Faravid killed this man, not me. He forced my hand with slights and trickery. He... <coughs> Forgive me, I... I find it hot in these furs. The, the day must be warming. You have a meeting with Faravid. Is that not right? I do, at the waltz. Yes, I know the place well. It is on the road between Jorvik and Pichiringo. Press him, Eivor! As hard as you can! Never let up! And bring me proof of his treachery, or otherwise! Thieves. No right. They had no right to. It's rightfully mine. Yes. Faravid the rat. Words are poison. In...
Eivor, welcome. Join me in drowning this golden drink. You made it. Come, have a drink. You're a few horns deep already? <laughs> Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? There were other things on his mind. Your man Ulfra, for instance. He died protecting the spoils he stole from Hafton. Ulfur. Poor Ulfur. I told him to mind your tongue, but he wags it like a slobbering dog. Was Hafton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He is not the same man he used to be. The songs of scalds and the glint of silver can turn even the best of us. He was a fierce man in days past, but he has lost the bite he once had. He's too careful. He ruminates and hesitates. What is this place? I expected an army ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. I came here with Hafton and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days, now too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to Jorvik, Eivor. Remind me of the glories long gone. You're too drunk to win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. What's keeping you, friend Eivor, waiting for spring? Best not fall off your horse. See you in Yorick. <laughs> Faster, Eivor! Ride like Sleipner's hoops! Your horse is slow, and her ride is drunk! Show far of it our asses. Having trouble keeping up? My horse must be deeper in the cups than I am. What are we doing in Yorwick? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishi. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishi and his feared, we'll finish them off. You'd bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your yawl? Psh! Keep this to yourself. The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. If I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. I prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. Don't do it again. Better now. Hey, I've been a 
afraid to touch even a drop of wine since the Yuletide feast. One more reason to stick with A. I wish Yuletide happened every month. The daily slog kills me. Not if it happens the way it did last time. Wait. A favor I must ask of you. Make no mention that Halfdan is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Rishia answers to Halfdan. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishia cannot defy orders he has never heard. No. Trust me. I will take the blame should our plan fall apart. Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer. What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again, until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, king. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done. But today, I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now, he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? To be clear, King Rishia, Hafton knows nothing about this attack. Nothing at all? That's unusual, Faravid. Eivor is mistaken, Lord King. I was given Hafton's personal assurance that you would volunteer your troops. He expects as much. But Hafton is ailing and tired. Let us not burden him with more worry, but please him with a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid, but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me! I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Without Hafton's formal approval, I cannot help. It's too great a risk. And after all, he is my ally. You understand? I should break your arms for that. What were you doing? I saw no reason to hide the truth. Rishia is a Saxon puppet. He has more to lose than you and I ever will. That serpent cannot be trusted, Eivor. If he tells Hafton of our plan, our victory is at risk. Our victory is for Hafton's own benefit. We will secure Northumbria for him, along with the gratitude of all its Saxon and Norse subjects. Fine. If we falsify orders from Hafton, Rishia will accept them. Hjor of Jorvik could help. Good. Hjor's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there.
did last. Ugh. I need your eyes, my friend. Costs you more than bread. Things you are better under Arden. Your this crowd won't listen to reason. Give us your coin, you bloody robbers. You're just where I hoped you would be. Eivor, gods, you have come at just the right moment. Right then, watch this. Go home or get hurt. But you won't bother my friends. I'll bother who I please after I brick your face to the brains. Eivor, always the fighter. Thank you, Wolfkist. Those men will wake up soon enough. With greater sense, I hope. What brings you back to Jorvik? Secret errands for Hafton. I need an army of men to face the Picts in the north. Has Hafton planned an attack he cannot afford? That's not like him. To be clear, Faravit made this plan, not Hafton. Does Haltan know of this plan, or...? He doesn't, but he's given me leave to act as I must, for reasons I cannot share. Yes, we've heard the rumors, and all our messages have gone unanswered. Can you aid me with some trickery? Help me forge a set of orders from Haftan himself, to force Rishia's cooperation. You will be taking quite a risk. You have my thanks. We can meet outside the Royal Hall, after you have the documents. Eivor, join me for a drink. You both seem to have settled well in the city. Yes, we do enjoy the comforts we have here. But I still think about Norway. The cold, and the warmth. Stay on the road safe, Eivor. I try to. Here, take this forgery, and pray that King Rishia sees nothing amiss. I trust you know what you're doing. Straight from Hafton's hand, as you see. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Well, if Hafton's loyal mules have pledged to fight, still, my help will come at a price. If you're speaking of coin, I remind you that your soldiers are mine. Hafton's, my good man. Hafton's soldiers, for these are Hafton's orders. Correct? But I jest. I jest. All is in order, then. If Haftan commands, I shall raise my feared. And you shall have your fighting army. Good. Get them marching at once. This must happen soon. As soon as they are mustered, Lord Faravid, and no sooner. 
Eivor, a moment with you? I'll meet you at Stenweir. Faravid is Hafton's man. So are the Hemmings of Nottinghamshire, as are we here in Jorvik. But not you. I don't like talk that dances around thorns. <laughs> For whom are you fighting, truly? fight for myself and my people as any great leader must why ask me of loyalty what are you seeking an innocuous question loyalty is a word that slides off the lips like honey sweet to the taste but never lingering there are things simmering in Northumbria hidden from even you take heed and have a care Part of it should be waiting at step. Where's Hafton Yarl? Will he be here? Eivor! Hey, good to see you! Where are the Saxons? We need them to take that fortress. Patience. Rishie promised an army. What about Hjor and Lufmina? Luvina is ahead with a dozen of Yorick's swords. Come. Our Saxon allies have reached Magnus. We should march. <laughs> 